Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl over here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm gonna go seven eleven seven and today we are in Subnautica Below Zero. And today I'm gonna give you a little tour of my base, show you all the recipes I have, show you everything I have in my lockers, and uh yeah, we're gonna go on a little tour. So first I will show you the outside of my base. So let's go over here. So yeah, this is what my base looks like from the outside. We got everything we got all the necessities. Let's use my booster tank to get back. Um, alright. So on the outside, we had that exterior grow bed with arrow, not arrow gel growing, gel sacks growing. We have my fabricator right here, battery charger. We have a locker right here with basically like little materials. Um, in this locker, it's like plant based stuff. And, uh, if we go into this one, this one's supposed to be man made stuff, but the plant based stuff didn't all fit in the plant based stuff locker. So I had to, um, I had to do this and throw them in there and this is more like materials that couldn't fit in the other one by the way does anyone know what i can do with urinite is that what it's pronounced i don't know if it is uh because i have like no, no purpose for it i just kind of have it like none of these recipes require it i have also a bed here so i can sleep i got some uh posters i also already have alan in my head uh, i'll show you some conversations so we got this stuff right here yep see and this is alan this skeleton is very dense and to it's able uh it's able to handle good forces um okay let's actually save just in case um so what i am going to do actually is i need my pda back so i have all the materials for um for the skeleton the thing is i don't know how to make the skeleton is i'm pretty sure it's like in an area right an area where i have to um where I have to, like, it's made to build the body parts. That sounds really weird. Um, but I don't know where to build it. I also still need architect tissues and architect organs. That sounds, you know what? I'm just gonna, <laughs> it sounds weird. Like, oh, I'm building someone a body, but it needs organs. Like, when you say you're gonna build someone a body, it just sounds like you're gonna build, like, a robot or something. No, I'm actually building a body. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Anyway, if we go up, we have my modification station right here. A recycler or recyclotron which I just got I haven't used it yet we have my observatory to see the beautiful waters of Subnautica below zero and if we go over here we have my scanner room we can see the view through here as well and um, let's go over here we have my scanner room what upgrades do we have we have the scanner room speed upgrade and we have the camera so we can literally just move around with the camera like this. We can also go upside down if you try to, but I don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't know how far away this can go. Um. All right, but let's let's just go back. Let's dock this. Ow! <laughs> Come on, I need it. I. I why, why can't I get in? Okay, there we go. And you can actually see through it right here, which is pretty cool. And, um, oh, it is nighttime. So, we should go to bed. Uh, actually, can I, can I go to bed? Yeah, let's go to bed. I like having a bed because you can, like, skip through the night. Um. Alright. Let's get up. I like how they stretch before they get out of bed. Usually I stay in bed and stretch and then I get out. Anyway, let's go to the uh, moon pool. We have my prawn suit here, which I just recently got. Um, I don't know what to name my prawn suit. Yeah, I want to name it something. I always like to name my vehicles. In the original Subnautica, when I played on the Xbox, I named my... Um, I forgot what it's called now, because I know it was on a sea truck. Um, but it's like a little mini... Not sea truck, because it's not sea truck. Um... But I named one sugar, and I named, I think I named my prawn suit spice. No, wait, no. I named my, I can't remember what it's called. It basically, it was like a vehicle, it's like a sea truck. I named that sugar, my friend named it spice, and then I named my prawn suit after something, and my friend, like, we had, like, theming names. Um, so yeah, let me show you the upgrades I got on this bad boy. We have the prawn suit storage module, the prawn suit depth upgrade, and we have the prawn suit drill arm. So actually, let me open storage because I did get titanium. Um, okay, so we have this. So let's take it out for a little test spin, even though I've already used it. And 
we have my sea truck there. The only reason I don't have like another moon pool for my sea truck is because one, it's too complicated to build around here, and two, I'll only put it in the in the moon pool if it needs to charge. But if it doesn't need to charge, I'll just leave it here with the module attached to it. Which I'm also trying to make another module, but I don't have all the pieces of it yet, I don't think. So yeah, this is my prawn suit. We got the drill arm, you know, the normal arm to find people with. And uh, yeah, let me go over here. Let's go put this bad boy back into uh, the main pool. Welcome aboard, Captain. And then now let's jump down here and look at my sea truck. So my sea truck only has one module, which is a storage module. So you'll get into it. This will be here, and then you have a bunch of storage. You can either exit out through the back or. Um, you can exit through this, uh, to the ladder here, but I'm gonna go for a little drive, you know, let's get, let's get a good view of my base. We'll just, like, go around. So, yeah, my base, this is what it completely looks like. And, yeah, I have two things that stack on top of each other, don't ask. Um, anyway, let's go back over here. And let's kind of park it right here, I guess and exit so you can you can either just go into the ladder or click on that i click on the ladder um okay and oh uh, what else what else is there uh, oh actually i want to go to the mobile vehicle bay real quick and see what uh what modules i can make i don't know how many modules i can actually make currently yeah so doc i can i can't make any modules other than storage uh, the docking module and the fabricator module are the other two Seek fluid intake. that I have. Also, if you didn't know, the bullseye mushrooms, I'm pretty sure that's what they're called, can actually give you food if you use your knife. And it only gives a little bit, but it's to get, if it gets it up a little bit. Vital signs and stabilizing. There's, and there's a bunch of them, so. Just get it all up. And it's easy to get, that's why. Oh, I'll use it sometimes. And then we have, you know, some arrow gel here. Um, all right, let me get that, and then there we go. All right, I also have the beacon for my base right here. Um, all right, I'm gonna show you guys the recipes I have. Hold on, first, let me see how long we've been recording for. Uh, if, where's my mouse? Hold on. There it is. Okay. Uh, we've been recording for eight minutes. Not bad, but I'm gonna show you all the recipes I have. So, basic materials, we already have up to the plasteel ingot. So, I think we got everything, everything for the basic materials. We have the advanced materials. We have hydrochloric acid, synthetic fibers, aerogel, and polyendial. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, and then here, we have this stuff. Um, the thing is, this test override module, it says it needs a parallel processing unit, but I don't have the recipe to either build that or have any idea if I'm supposed to find it or build it. I have, I don't know. Um, food and water is all the same. Um, we have the headlamp, but see, it requires an ion battery, and I don't have an ion battery. So yeah, I have all these recipes here. If we go to tools, uh, the laser cutter ingredients are unknown, I only have like one part. Uh, but yeah, we have this stuff. Deployables. We have the quantum locker, um, and upgrades. We have bronze suit upgrades, and we have um, the sea truck upgrades. So uh, yeah, we have. We also have the battery charge here. Don't know if I pointed that out earlier. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it for my Subnautica Blue Zero base and tour. So uh, yeah, I really want to try and find the fabricator module. Um, I'll probably do that off camera though. Uh, ooh, these aerogel sacks grow really fast. Like, not aerogel sacks, gel sacks. They grow really fast. Also, I'm gonna collect some of this. Alright. Um, let me... I also want to start my own ribbon plant farm. But to get ribbon plant, I think you need to get its seeds. Yeah, see... But I can't. Or maybe if I drop it outside, I can. Uh... All 
Oh yes, okay, so I just drop it outside. There we go. So let's let's add this into it too. Man, they gave it a lot of ribbon plant seeds. Alright. So now we'll have some ribbon plant growing. I'll also eat some of this. Just because. So yeah, if you have any idea or how I'm supposed to build this body or where it is, can you please comment it down below? Because I have no idea. <laughs> Alright, well anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you smash that like button and comment down below what you think of my Subnautica Balloon Zero Base. Also, I would be in third person, but you can't be in third person in Subnautica, so I'm kind of just moving around. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. And if you did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And when you do, hit that notification bell and click all so you'll be notified. I, did I say that right? So you'll be notified. That's what I meant to say. Um, whenever I post a video on the channel. And uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoy and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!